Hey, it's Midnight Raven, and today we're talking about diets that work. So if you're just joining me, I am the Midnight Raven. This is my YouTube channel, and we are doing the 30 Days Health and Fitness Challenge 2021 for July. And today's topic is diets that work. So we are looking at six different diets. We're looking at the basics, the positives, and the negatives from dieting. And we're going to go through six different various diets in different um, types of diets, i.e. some diets you do at home, some diets you go to a group, some diets you do online. There's going to be an entire series, and this is the first video in a series of, I believe, three or four different videos looking at diets that work. And then I have another diet series looking at fad diets, keto diets, and many more to come. So let's get into this video. The first diet we're going to look at is the Weight Watchers diet. Everyone knows about the Weight Watchers diet, and I'm sure you've heard of it before. The basics behind this diet is that it's a personalized plan catered to you where you eat a balanced plan, eating certain foods, but also portion controlling your food. So that should help lower down how much you eat, the amount and what you eat. The positives from this is it's effective weight loss has been proven and they don't restrict too much. Their basis eat little and often, but don't overeat. The drawbacks is that you have to pay a monthly membership and there are tiered memberships for you to access more help and more support. It costs you more. So if you're looking for a diet plan that is cost effective, that's free, this one isn't going to be for you. Um, there is a monthly charge. You do attend monthly groups. So if you're not really into meeting people or paying to diet, this wouldn't be for you. The next diet we're going to look at is the Mediterranean diet. So you may not have heard about this one. The basics behind this is that it limits red meats. Um, it encourages you to eat fish and it encourages you to eat healthy fats rather than um, unhealthy fats and rather than eating things like junk food and sugary stuff. The proven health benefits have been shown from this and the best thing about this diet is there is no calorie counting i hear an amen for that calorie counting is tedious so a positive for that is you're not going to be weighing everything and counting calories constantly the drawbacks are though not weight loss is instantaneously this one is going to take a little bit of time for you to lose some weight you may drop a few pounds in the first couple of weeks, but don't expect just to lose 10 pounds in the first week. This is what you call a slow metabolism diet where you slowly lose weight over time. So if you're looking for something that just drops the weight off, this may not be for you. The third date is the DASH diet. That's D-A-S-H, which stands for Dietary Approved to Hypertension. So this diet is to lower the sodium in your body and it's to help with nutrients and makes you conscious to what you're actually eating. The benefits from this is that it prevents your high blood pressure, high cholesterol level, and it emphasizes healthy choices over impulse choices on what you eat. It eliminates bacon and beef and that's entirely there is no ifs or but on that bacon and beef. No more bacon babs in the morning. That's a hard one to just stop, isn't it? I, I can feel your pain. And beef, that means burgers, mince, steak, steak, and all that good stuff completely gone out the door. So depending on how you feel about that, that may put you off this diet. I can hear men going, no. So... The next diet is the 1,200 calorie a day diet. So that's 1,200 calories a day diet. This diet is the basis of what I've just said. You eat only 1,200 calories a day. That's if you're a male or a female, mind you. The positives for this is it does give you effective weight loss because obviously you're restricting how much you eat to a manageable, safe level, mind you. There are no restricted foods. You just have to keep to the 1,200 calories a day. 
the dislikes on this one is that you count calories. I know I can feel your pain. Counting calories is a bit of a headache. It also discourages from unhealthy habits like junk food, late night snacks, that extra donut that you want for breakfast. Naughty, naughty. 1,200 calories is the limit if you want to see the pounds drop off. The next diet is called the My Plate Plan Diet. Now, this diet gives you five recommended food groups that you're recommended to have on your plate. So whether it's dairy, carb, fiber, protein, you'll have a bit of each. So this is the idea of giving you a balanced diet where you also have a weight amount you'd like to reach and a healthy goal you'd like to reach, whether that's eating three meals a day, having a calorie count set. The positives is that there are no restricted foods. You just eat five different controlled portions on your plate. The other benefit is, is that it's a gradual change diet where you slowly change your portions, you slowly change your food, it also gives you a balanced diet because you'll be eating something from each of the food groups. You're not just restricting them. So if you're worried about losing nutrients, vitamins and all that, you'll have five different food groups on your plate. And you can actually buy a plate where you have the food groups lined out. You can get them in things like B&M, Poundland, where you have the plate and it has the actual wedges on there to show you how much to have. The dislikes in this one is possibly again counting calories controlling your portions um, and obviously tracking your food stuff like that may not interest you you may not be overwhelmed by counting the calories weighing your food tracking your food it might be a bit overwhelming so if you're looking for a more easier diet this one is easy in retrospect and it's it's not overwhelming um, but it is a diet that may not suit everybody. And the last diet for today is the intuitive eating diet. Now, this is a really difficult one. This is a diet where you recognize when you're full. <laughs> that sounds easy, right? You just eat food, and when you're full, you stop. But it's tuning into that sound in your head that says, look, you've had that portion, do you really need seconds, and stopping yourself, or filling your plate up and only eating enough to satisfy you. So there are no restrictions on this diet. The idea is, is you teach yourself to know when you're full. You get to a point when you eat, when you actually know you're full and you stop, you don't eat. Even if you have food left on your plate, you stop and you leave it. The advantage to this is recognizing good food and recognizing when you're full. Food may be good, but it doesn't mean you have to eat all of it. Also, it gets you in tune with your body. It makes you listen, takes um, more of an interest in what you eat, how much you eat daily, what you eat, when you eat, and basically gets you to concentrate on not overfilling your stomach, which is where you have the extra pounds. The negatives to this is obviously it's a learning curve. Learning when you're full can take a while. So this isn't going to be an instant weight dropping one. There's very vague success rates in this one. The rest, I would say, have varying rates of success. This one is kind of personal to you. No one can tell you when you're full. You have to learn that when you eat a dinner, even if you have stuff on that plate, if you are full, you put your knife and fork down and you leave it. You're back away from the plate. <laughs> That's the kind of idea that you tune into your body. You get to a comfortable level where you've had a pleasant meal, you're full, and then you back away from it. And it's tuning your body into that. That's the difficult part. So there are six diets that have proven to work. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a series that I'm doing at the minute, looking at different diets from fad diets to diets that work to keto diets, and I have many more videos coming. 
I also have videos coming with fitness and health tips if you want to know more about getting healthy in a good way or keeping fit in a good way. I'm also loading fitness videos every day that last around 10 minutes if you want to watch them. Please do so. Give us a big thumbs up, like and subscribe. And I will see you very soon for another diet video that works. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.